JBN, we keep you informed. I am Mitchell Jones, and in the news, police probe whether dogs mauled 83-year-old woman. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Members of a Trelawney family were in mourning Tuesday following the discovery of the badly mutilated body of an 83-year-old woman who is believed to be mauled to death during an attack by dogs late Monday night. The dead woman has been identified as Kathleen Jump of Van Zeeland's Falmouth, acting commander of the Trelawney Police Division. Deputy Superintendent of Police Winston Milton told reporters that about 6.30 a.m. on Tuesday, the police responded to a report that an injured woman was seen in the Van Zeeland's area of Falmouth. On arrival, the police saw the blooded body of a female, later identified as Jump, lying on the road, DSP Milton said. He said that Jump, who walked around with the aid of a walker, was last seen at a shop near her home about 11 p.m. on Monday. She reportedly left the shop soon afterwards and headed for home. It is believed that while she was on her way home, the dogs attacked her. Stacy and Rose, Jump's distraught daughter, said it was heart-wrenching to see her mother's body on the road Tuesday morning. When I go down there and see my mother this morning, she rip up. It's like a dog, they rip her up and drag her. Her walker full of blood. Even the puddle of water full of blood, all her ear root out. So it looked like when them drag her, them bite her neck first, Rose said, as she struggled to maintain her composure. Her sister Pansy Carey, who was equally devastated, said it is ironic that it was her mother, 10 years ago, who prevented her from attempting to kill the dogs, which she strongly suspects to have ripped her to death. Carey recalled that about a decade ago, her daughter, who was seven at the time, was attacked by four dogs, including a pit bull and a German shepherd. And my mother saved me from killing them dog day. She told me, say, if I kill the dog, bad bless not gonna follow you. My daughter was seven years old when they attack her. She is going 17 now. When they attack her first, I make up my mind, say, I'll get rid of them dog day, she said, tears streaming down her cheeks. From those dogs were six-month puppies, they were vicious. Them start to attack a little cripple girl. Them attack a next guy, my daughter, then my niece, she added. The SP Milton, meanwhile, pointed out that even though while it is suspected that Jump was mauled to death by dogs, the police were continuing their probe to conclusively determine the cause of death. It is suspected that she was attacked and mauled by dogs. We are in the early stage of our investigation and it is just an unfortunate situation, but we are not really decisive as to the cause of death now. We have only just commenced investigations at this point. We are not just confining our investigations to dogs, but we have conducted some investigations in the space where we would have interviewed persons from within the local, he said. We are awaiting the result of a post-mortem examination as we progress our investigation. More than a year ago, the House of Representatives passed the Dogs Liability for Tax Act 2020, which provides for criminal and civil liability for an owner for dogs that attacks, injures, or causes the death of a person. Fines from $500,000 to $3 million or imprisonment from 6 months to 15 years are being proposed as criminal penalties when an individual is attacked by a dog. The bill also provides for civil liabilities if the dog causes injury in any place other than its home or where it's normally kept. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.